This is my story before we put the index This is when things get a little more in depth Read it through, believe it's true This is all I needed to leave a new path to a cleaner view Welcome back to Behind the Bar 6 We have a sick battle, make some noise! The guy that wants all the Nuts magazine! It's me! to the nitty gritty. It's a shitty pity, but you're pretty zitty. <laughs> Get right up near your grill and it's clearer still. You need to invest in some clearer still. <laughs> I'm Pete Cashmore. <coughs> <laughs> yes. I'm, not, I'm known to make the Glock spark. <laughs> He's hiding. <laughs> 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 Prone to facial pop marks. <laughs> Maltese. <laughs> Seriously, mate, your face situation is needing a look. If a blind man was here, he'd be going, Am I reading a book? <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna understate, yo. Your acne is bait, bro. I bet your bathroom mirror looks like a plasterer's radio. <laughs> took a look at your mug, her twat would dry and shrivel up like putting salt on a slug. <laughs> so much yellow on your face that you look Chinese. <laughs> Racism. Most of these places you're the chef's special with extra cheese. You have terrible cheeks. I want to knock spots off you, it's going to take several weeks. <laughs> and you're not from East London, you're a northern gent, but you're still repping acne to the fullest extent. <laughs> <laughs> Summarise, Cashmore, palm in the shotty, high death, alarmingly spotty. <laughs> Listen, you bellin, I should rip this prick bear. It's fucking ironic that he writes for Nooks magazine. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Listen, you bellin, I should rip this prick bear. It's fucking ironic that he works for a poor magazine and he's the biggest tit there. <laughs> Yo, and your girlfriend left you because you chose battle rap over her, and that's as far as hate is gonna get. I'm just saying you probably could have compensated because maybe she did fake it with the sex. I mean, fair dues. She had facial hair and she was never shaving on her legs, but <laughs> to be real, Pete, you nearly thought, you know, mate, you need to take what you can get. <laughs> yes. Speaking of that bitch. Oh, she ponged. I can smell the slut. She waited till I felt the gut to tell me she hadn't washed it ages. That fucking stealthy cunt. Bro, when I went down on her, I had, to I had to brush my teeth with some proper healthy stuff. She tasted like she felt a butt, wiped some yellow guck all over a minge and got fucked by Nelson Mandela's butt. Oh. Oh. Fucking, yo, and some bird stalked you for a while, somehow that's turned you into a hollow gimp. This faggot can't even log onto his Twitter account anymore, he's scared of when people follow him. <laughs> <laughs> it's time that this wolf wandered alone, I bet many agree. You're about to see the red devil shine through like this was the Premier League. Nice. On some workplace shit, what I'm drug fueled. My stomach likes to stew ease when they're rammed in my tongue. Your girl, your girl tried to kiss me, I was like, whoa, hog. I had to pull out a Stanley knife dumb. See, it doesn't matter if you're Christy, you're no mega faithful, because no god could ever elevate you to the stand that I'm on. So my work plays intense, so I'll put Peter in a box like Family Guy's so. Nice! Wow. Yeah, nice! Time! Make some noise! Yeah! Second round! Second round, Pete Cash. Okay, just before I get started, I need to explain the second round you're about to see. Probably the nerdiest gun bar exchange <laughs> that's ever happened in the history of the world. We're not gonna hear it in once, is <laughs> My guns be lighting up the sky like solar panels. <laughs> and I'm shooting high def like Sky Sports channels. Nice! When my niner claps, I commit the violent acts. Expose the pussy in you. 
vaginal wax. <laughs> I'm shooting it hard, I'll leave you brutally scarred. Put the metal in your blood like Magneto's security guard. Nice. X-Men 2 reference there. I'm the god of this gunshit, it's in my heart and soul. When I pop the hammer, I'm not bumming Carlton Cole. That's about as bad as it gets. I'm not bumming Carlton Cole. I'll take you to a chair and then slaughter your goons. Want to bust and then wet you up? No water balloons. I got the shit to leave your dome fucked up. I'll put that steel in your ass. Chrome butt plug. <laughs> Appreciating awesome when I'm clapping fire. I'm, I'm down with warring tons wrapped in wire. I said I'm down with warring tons wrapped in. Look, if you don't like the way that last line sounds, it's a fuck of a lot funnier when you write it down. <laughs> Pete Cashmore, when I blam blam, it's him. <laughs> you ready? I'll put you out of the game like pamphlet quitting. No. Yes. Is that time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time, yeah. time. Yeah. Young bars! Okay, well, Sick around! So much. Yeah. High death! No. We don't need words. I put two hands to your face with no text. So fuck a Swiss knife, pull out 145 like it's quarter to two, fire and watch your eyes roll X. Nice. Mm. Yo, mm. I fucking hate gun bars for the fun. They are just dumb bars about a gun. I mean, let's be real, people. The only thing that has ever clapped around you is your mum's ass when she runs. <laughs> Yes. If you pulled out a burner, Pete, I would pull a stronger one. You'll be looking down more barrels than when Mario tried to save Princess Peach from Donkey Kong. <laughs> nice. nice. Fucking, I don't need guns. I'll fucking leave you a pile of crushed dead weight. When I say I'll load up my magazine, mate, I don't mean the nuts webpage. <laughs> <laughs> and you probably have to watch a video on how to fight in case this shit came to blows and that's some basic shit. So it obviously didn't matter if we did gun bars or not, because for some reason you still needed to check up on that safety clip. Nice. So you probably saw it don't flop and fuck. Yeah, shit, I might try this. So obviously, oh fuck, yeah. I'm not your opponent really, Pete Hammer. I'm here to support your midlife crisis. Oh. Yeah, fucking. Yo, <laughs> so you're a tragic queen now. Yo, you're a tragic queen now. <laughs> you think it's wrong that you haven't been crowned? Fuck off, Pete. I don't mean gun bars when I said it you're 40 and still doing your magazine rounds. Nice. Oh, okay. Right. So I'll beat you down to smack submission, push you down to bad condition. I'm about to make this faggot come out of his shell like a fired round of ammunition. Nice. Fucking, yo, you think you'll win? I bet you do, you messy dude, but let's be true, you ain't getting through because I'm better. True, I'm more clever, too. It's ironic that this is your last battle, we're doing gun bars and I'm ending you, because this is more than likely going to be your exit win. Nice! Uh, So, hi death. I gotta ask you, man, why death? Why do you insist on stepping up here, death? Sorry, shit, I fucked that up. Uh, Go ahead. Sorry. Hi death. I gotta ask you something. Why death? Why do you have to step up here and try death? That shit don't fly, death. You must be high death. You can call me devastation. I'll subject you to death defamation nice. and drop the sick shit like diarrhea defecation. <laughs> death flows like he's deflated. It's defrauding the fans. Because he's definitely devoted to the flowery mans. <laughs> if fighting defenseless teens is your sex preference, your delivery is deficient, so show deference. Put up defiant defences and I'll slap you like my son. And if death told you death, <laughs> this is a good one. If death told you death was death, death con one. No. You're the very definition of defunct and defeated. You think that I'm deficient? Are you weeded? Stop blazing through trees like global deforestation. We will throw you out the window. Defenestration. Look it up in the dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> if it's de facto that I've run out of death words to stop, I can't do it indefinitely, so I'm about to stop. Now I've defiled you, deformed and defamed, by doing high death to death with the death in death's name. Nice. <laughs> nice. Third round, Yo. high death. Yo, so take a second to marvel at this. Peter gave his ex-man a ring when his bitch didn't last. He told his old boyfriend that you felt nothing could save you from the shit in your past. Because you're just a rogue wolf kicking up a storm with an air of mystique, but still you keep splitting your crack. Because as soon as P.T. spied a man in his bed, the faggot came as quick as a flash. Nice! <laughs> now, was it true that you've represented your town? Bro, I found that kind of bull. I mean, apart from staring at Carol Vorderman's arse, mate, you, you 
kind of dull. <laughs> <laughs> You're peaking with age now, Pete. You try to freeze it, your time is full because you're blind enough, so nobody's going to come save you. It doesn't matter how many times you cry for wolves. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. Now, Pete's a chubby, run down, local celeb with a bit of runaway fame. Look at those tits, they are the same size as Double J's name. <laughs> You know, and fucking, you're a teenager of insights, you'll be printing nuts forever, which usually is really good, but apparently if you keep needing to reprint them, your pages always seem to get stuck together. <laughs> <laughs> when Bill said we were doing 90s, I thought, oh, fuck, you know me. Nobody wants a battle to go on longer than you, Lowe's faves. Get <laughs> <laughs> you know, him! That's some real shit. You better pave the way for me. By the time I was 17, I lived alone and I sacredly made the peak. You're the fakest G. You'll still be living in that fantasy team world of make-believe. So it's nice that you have a stable job, income, you need a great, nice, safe place to be. But, bro, I'm 18 and made 21 grand a year. And the difference is I didn't have no parents pay for me. Oh, <laughs> nice. Right, let's go to the judges. Three ways, check out Fair Pete's clothing sponsoring this battle as well. Um, I'm going to give that straight up 3 0 Pete Cashmore. What a funny cunt you are, Mr. Mr. Cashmore. Sick. Nuts Magazine shit, though. No. Yeah, I'll keep it short because I walked a bit last time up Pete Cashmore. Take some shade, give an act to uh, Cashmore because he just reminds me of my granddad and he's funny as fuck. All the way. High def was good, but Cashmore. Yeah. Welcome back to Behind the Bar 6. We just had a sick battle. Make some noise. Hey! Yeah. Anyway, the winner is three to zero. Pete. <laughs>